It's a very expensive pair of shoes now. But Levi's social calendar is going to be so much more busier than mine's and Lakshman's. You all slept off and we are so late for the party. We are all fully stocked up on our cafe this morning. Probably it's time for our sport to change actually. We are going to try and fit it in the car now. That's our mission for today. He likes it. That's all we need. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well. I am now in front of the gym. It's been two whole weeks since I went to the gym. So I'm parked in the parking lot and kind of contemplating whether I want to go in or not. When I thought, this is a good time to probably start a vlog. Um, you know, I'm just procrastinating, trying to go in. It's been more than two weeks since I went to the gym because I've been sick for more than two weeks now. I was like terribly, completely out of it the first whole week. So there was all, no way, there was absolutely no way I could have gone to the gym. And then the second week, much better, but still, you know, I kind of delayed it, postponed it. So I am thinking, um, I drove all the way here, so I'm not going to go back not going in anyway but i just wanted to come in and say hi i want to vlog this weekend we have a full-on weekend today especially we have so many things on and i thought it'd be nice to pick up the camera and start vlogging and talking to you and chatting and showing you the things that we get up to so let's go come into the gym with me i don't know how much i'll be able to film in there i'm slightly later than i should have been here they normally open at eight and if i'm here at eight on the dot it's quite quiet it's almost half eight now so let's see what happens. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me Your eyes, they glowed and filled me up We had never met before that time But I just knew that we'd end up You took it oh, It's finally done. I didn't really push myself like I uh, normally would But at least it's done Oh no, I thought it was going to be a good day today. Look, nice blue sky, but it's drizzling. I am never going to buy anything from Spots Direct Online ever again. I went into the store looking for a couple of boots. They didn't have the right size. The sales assistant that told me that I could order it online and I'll get delivered to me. I paid $4.99 for delivery. And when I went into the store to return, they said that they'll only give me a store credit. And I ordered a couple of pairs of shoes. They didn't realize it's not a free return. And then they told me if I sent it back to the warehouse because it was an online order, um, they would then give me a full refund. But when I came back home to process that online order return thing, I realized that I need to pay for postage. And I just paid £14.15 to return one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes. I'm like, oh my God. And the pair, the cost of the shoes that I kept is only nine pounds. <sighs> That's a very expensive pair of shoes now. Yeah, lesson learned. No more spots to write online. Um, yeah, I need to rush back home now and get the boys and then we are headed out to Crips. I was going to go back home, change and go, but I think we'll be late for Levi when, by the time we come back home and I don't want to rush his lunchtime and stuff so i wanted to change because i didn't want to look like this when i went to cribs i need to stop treating cribs like my backyard because that's how i do it now and this is exactly how i walk in while people look at me people stare at me literally while they are also dressed up nicely and i'm like i i couldn't be bothered i don't care you're making me you're making me wholehearted we jumped off the sub we lead no I cleaned up after all and I went back home, I had to go to the toilet so I thought might as well get changed to look a little bit more presentable 
and we are in Cribs now, as you can see. It's not that busy because it's still early in the morning, as in for a Saturday, it's still early for most people, probably. It's slightly past 10 now. And this one is happily holding our hands and walking. You know, a couple of months ago, I bought him a trike. It's from Duna. It's a Duna trike. I really, really like it. It's really nice. It can last all the way up to three, four years old. You use it as a trike. You use it as a cycle for the kid also when they're older, you know. I bought that in hope that he will use it during trips like this or when we travel in the future rather than carrying the big pram. But he's so into walking that he doesn't want to sit in anything. So we figured there's really no point putting him in a trike when he doesn't want to sit in it and that trike doesn't have any storage space. So should I carry a changing bag or extra stuff, you know, his water bottle or whatever, I don't have any space to put it. And then we'll end up having to hold him, walk with him or run with him and trying to push the trike also and carrying a lot of other things at the same time. So today we decided this morning there's really no point carrying his trike. He's just going to walk with us and he absolutely loves it. Levi, let's over here. Can you see yourself over here? have been grabbing everything that he can reach in his side. Can you see? He picked up another teddy bear now. We came to Card Factory to get some birthday cards because Levi has got a first birthday party to attend. I mean, it's not a first birthday party, it's a girl's second birthday party, but a first party that he has been invited to from his nursery. And this is a card that Levi picked for her, a special friend. Ever since he knew about her birthday, he's been mentioning her name at home. He's like, Luna, 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 non-stop. It feels like Levi's social calendar is going to be so much more busier than mine's at Luxman's. So I figured I might as well buy a couple of extra cards because um, it looks like a lot of the kids, as in the parents in the kids' group or whatever, invite a couple of friends from that group, you know. So I, I foresee that he's going to have a lot more invitations in the future. I don't want to be running to the shop to get stuff in the last minute, so I just got a couple of extra cards. You're making me, you're making me wholehearted. I will always remember it. How you turn everything around I will always remember it How you got me off the battleground is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights we all slept off and we are so late for the party this is levi's first party and i was excited for him he dozed off i mean it's his normal nap time we were gonna wake him up at two o'clock and then leave but we also dozed up and we also slept and it's three, it's almost three now. Ah. <laughs> Left the phone. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know if I If 
from falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly I'm so glad we made it. We were so late. Everyone else was already there before. I think they did like a whole round in the farm looking at all of the animals. But we didn't get a chance because we were so late. Yeah, I know. We missed the animals, didn't we? This one is sat here. Yeah. Apple. Eating the apple. apple. Where's your apple? Can you show everyone your apple? Yeah, I'm glad we made it because we could speak to a couple of people in the last minute, had a cake, it was really nice. And we got that apple from the tree there. They have like a picnic area with an apple tree and he wants his song. I started filming from my phone and the song stopped playing. Okay, I need to go now and let the song play in the car for him. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. from a household that did not sleep well last night at all. I finally figured out, it looks like Levi is probably going through um, the 18 month sleep regression. He's been waking up a lot the last two weeks maybe, he's struggling me waking up a lot and he's been wanting us to sleep with him until he falls asleep. Usually I just drop him off to the cot and then he falls asleep by himself. But now it's like he needs us to fall asleep and then he wakes up at two in the morning or around about three or sometimes five in the morning and then he finds it really difficult to go back to sleep again. So, I don't know how long we're going to have to ride it out and we are all fully stocked up on our cafe this morning to survive for the rest of the day but we're just waiting for Dwight to finish his breakfast. Once he finishes his breakfast, we will then head out to church. We are slightly early so I have a peaceful time with my tea this morning before we run out. Alexa, switch on the living room. Do you want to catch the bubble? just got back from church and this boy has been so hyper he was falling asleep in the car and i had a tough time keeping him awake but i don't know how he became so hyper now but regardless um i didn't film anything in church today but the message was really really good and it got me thinking the head of evangelical alliance came to our church today he was our guest speaker and what he was talking about is stepping up about sharing your faith and the word to the people you know, in the marketplace, in the workplace and everything, wherever we are, because that's what we're passionate about. That's what we believe in. And that's what, I mean, I believe in it for a reason. You know, it's not that I'm blindly following someone else or blindly doing something. This is my faith and this is what I believe in. But what he said stood out to me. And it was the fact that, you know, when you meet someone in the gym or when you meet your work colleagues or your friends, they're passionate about something, be it the gym, they're working out their healthy lifestyle, diet, 
maybe even pets or their hobbies or whatever it is that they are passionate about, they talk about it so much. I am happy to listen to them because that's what they're passionate about. And I want to hear all of their stories and everything. But at the same time, I would expect them to listen to me too, you know, to listen to what I am passionate about, my faith, my belief, what I do, my activities. It got me thinking about the time where I work, when I was active in Alpha, every weekend we had Alpha. So when we go back to work on Monday, colleagues will be like, oh, what did you do over the weekend? You know, what did you do last night? And <clears throat> all of those things. And I'll be like, um, I had Alpha. Everyone knew what Alpha was. Pet, there's always this awkward silence when I tell them something about my church activity. If it's a church outing, if it's a Sunday service, a family camp, or even Alpha, especially Alpha. And there's always this awkward silence and people don't continue. And because there's this awkward silence and people don't, I never felt free enough to speak about it. You know, in not just workplace, in marketplace, anywhere. I'm like, uh, that's not right, is it? It's it's basic courtesy. When you are listening to someone else's story, they will then listen to you. I expect them to listen to my stories. I expect them to listen to me when I talk about something that I am passionate about. Sometimes it feels like I probably didn't take that bold step. I probably felt awkward because of that awkward silence. I thought, or rather I assumed that they are not interested. Times have changed a lot now, and there's a lot more desperation, especially what has happened in the last couple of years due to the pandemic, you know, due to COVID. There's just no certainty in life at all, is there? And it's come to a point where people really want to know what life really is about. People really want to know who this Jesus is, that more than half the world believe in him. More than half the world have changed their entire lifestyle because of him. And, you know, there's a lot more that you can talk about Jesus and about the Bible and everything. But I have a feeling that I have not been bold and I need to be. I talk about my faith and my belief. I talk about my stand, what I believe in, what I don't believe in, why I don't smoke, why I don't drink, why I don't have any tattoos, why I don't believe in tattoos. I talk about that. I talk about my testimonies, but I've never really approached anyone to ask if they would really want to hear about Jesus when they start talking about Christianity, when they are curious about certain things, I'm like, I never really stepped out in confidence. And maybe that's something that I would really like to change in the days to come, in the future. I may not know everything in the Bible. I may not know all of the evidences, but I know enough to know that that has been the best decision for me. I've just realized that this entire conversation that I've just had with you is probably really vague for you. But the fact is that I want to be bolder in my faith and my belief in what I speak, what I believe in. That's what it is. And I suppose it's also a plea for you. If you have been one of those person who passionately talk about your activities or what you are passionate about, but never gave space to someone else to talk about what they are passionate about. Maybe you've not been generally cu genuinely curious about something else, but maybe actually, let me reword it. Maybe you have been curious, but didn't want to ask someone wasn't conscious enough to give them the space to talk about it, probably it's time for us both to change, actually. For you to be more conscious about other people and for me to be more bold in what I want to speak and say. Levi is almost outgrowing his current car seat. The current one that we have is a Cybex 360. So that one you can rotate 360 and you can recline it as well. But we hardly ever use a recliner, but we really love the 360. And he's almost reached the height limit. You can see that he's a little bit uncomfortable, but he's not reached the, the weight limit on that car seat as yet. But because his feet is like always dangling and hitting against the seat and everything, he's a bit uncomfortable. We figured we'll just get the next car seat for him now. And the next one, when he's two, he can be facing forward. I know it's a um, recommendation to have them facing backward as much as possible. But when it gets really uncomfortable, you have to change it. And because we have to change this car seat, we were figuring out, you know, which one to get next. We've got the, the Cybex base, but it's so much more expensive to get the other one um, to use with the base itself. The next step, I think it's a Serena Z or something like that. And then when we did a little bit of research, I found out that the jo Joey, Joy, I have no idea how it's pronounced, J-O-I-E. Some people pronounce it as Joey. Some people pronounce it as Joy. Um, I naturally tend to say it as Joey, whatever it is. It's the Joey 
I I spin 360 that we wanted to get and it was very expensive, it was 340 pounds. Um, but I had my eye on it and all of a sudden I saw a good deal for it at 230 pounds. I ordered that, it came a couple of days ago. We are going to try and fit it in the car now. That's our mission for today. And hopefully Levi likes this one. This one is really, really good. So you can use it reclining as in, um, it can be reclining while we are driving as well. And it can be put upright also. It can be facing the back and can be facing the front. So we will have it facing the back at the moment until he's old enough to have it facing the front but it's safer for him to do so. Every day I see miserable people thought about you don't know why i keep on doing what i'm told to do when the rules are made up by someone we never knew baby wipe your tears and hear me out we don't need someone to feel all right let's do the streets on monday let's call your exes and tell one he can actually see outside the window so he was actually enjoying the journey on our way here to the park with this one you can have it sitting upright like a chair and you can also recline it so he was sat upright on this one and it's so much more higher he likes it that's all we need we spent so much money on this and it's going to last him for another two years at least when he's two years old we can uh, face him forward actually the recommendation says from 15 months onwards you can face him forward but i don't want to I actually wanted to drive a short distance but i do not want to i don't want to risk it now it's just it's so much more safer when you keep them facing back um but it's really good even his feet doesn't hit the seat behind a toy he's like he can stretch properly and he's like a lot more comfortable it's so roomy very very sturdy very soft and nice and i'm really happy with this i wish we had known about this or rather i wish they had already made this before we bought the side bags i would have bought this for sure instead of the side bags back then <laughs> Oh, he wants to 